thank heavens you're still breathing. What was that storm? It wasn't natural for sure. Oh. But next time, maybe work on your landing technique. Hello everybody, welcome. This is Nilnar, and we're once again in First Dwarf. They've done a lot of updates, and I wanted to check it out. So there's actually a third island now that we can go to, so that ought to be cool. Um, but I had to do a whole new game because, as we know, my last playthrough was early edition and had a, a major flaw in the game. I could not get string. So let's uh, let's begin. We got to repair our mech here. So let's hold and repair this fine Just look at animal. This mech. That's mechanical I machine. Dwarf workmanship. A few dents. <laughs> That's all. I'll fix them right away. And yep, we're going to town. The mech is ready. Time to get in. So, I am playing with the controller just to, because. Now, let's see what's left of the airship. You can play with keyboard mouse as well. But go around and pick all this stuff up that's laying around. We gotta get our hammer. Oh, my hammer. Good thing I didn't fall far. Okay, we still got some more parts to pick up. I'll get that in a second. I'll salvage what I could. We can look around. Some pieces might have landed elsewhere, but I think it's a good spot. Just smell the forest. Time to build a base. Hey, we're going to come over here and we're going to build a base over this way. So we got to build, build some stuff. So, we come over here. Allow us to make... No, it just wants us to build the main base. Well, like always, I'm going to put that about right here. Like so. And we're gonna have to go ahead and we are ready to start a new colony. Wood and stone. Or how they say it. Got, we gotta do some farming here. Gotta gather a lot of stone and wood. And we're not ready for you yet. I'm going to need a lot of this. Now it's time for stone. Finally. Wood dries and rots. And stone. <laughs> stone lasts for ages. You can build a shelter out of wood, but you cannot build a house without stone. I want me to find that quarry right next door to us. We'll do that here in one second. This looks like a good place to dig. Wait a moment. Look at these scratches. Somebody has been here before us. Yep. A rock must have broken off. That's it. These are wild plans. We are the first to explore here. What's that sound? Yep, time to go do some battling. I think something that doesn't want to be our friend. Let's go over and take care of our first one. I think it used to be a wild No, uh. such things never appear one at a time. It's like an illness spreading through the body. Okay. Since the beginning. Have you done enough digging? Yep, that's it. Now we can build a well on the mana spring. The colony building needs mana just like my armor. I'm gonna have to create a lot of them, so I'm. I'm going to do what we need to do. And as people pointed out uh, on the previous playthrough, we 
need to make sure we interlock everything together, so we'll do that this time. Okay, so go back to build mode, and now we can create the mana thing. Can't rotate it, so it has to go that way. There we go, one mana. I could deck stone all day, but I've sure had enough of cutting wood. It's high time to build a sawmill, power it up with a mana pipeline. There we go. Now we got the house powered up. Now we'll go get some more. We're going to need all this out of the way anyway, so... I get my... Uh, Bonus there. Get all this out of the way. And okay. So that's to get us started. Let's build our sawmill. Now we got to build a mana for it. Before we do that, let's put another one here. Now we have to build a stone mine in the quarry and connect it to the pipeline. You said you could dig stone all day. Work first, play later. There we go. No, that's kind of a nice little thing. So now we should have to build a snow stone mine right there. And again, we need to connect it to the mana. There we go. Sun is setting. Not good. We still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. Expecting someone? All the filthiest things in this world look like an at night. I can breathe fire, but I'm afraid you won't make it. We could use some defensive turrets. Let's hurry up my cool defense this through. Now we can do defenses. So we need, need a gate through here because I just don't like walking. Then we need a fence from here to there. So there, just to make sure, we'll put one there, and then we'll do this side. There we go. Get rid of this rock off there, just so it's off. Okay, now we need a defense turn here. Okay, we'll put it on this side then. Okay, and now we need to power it all. There we go, that's double powered. Let's close this one. There we go. Now we need to do the same thing over here. Start building this way. Get these logs out of the way. Oh, I don't want both of those. Move gate. 
Move that. Okay. I want both of those. And we'll go and clear this out. Now, supposedly, since the last time I played, they made it so it will go all the way across there. So that'll be good if it does. Okay, let's try this. Have to take this tree out. Yes, they didn't make it so you could go all the way down here. Well, can you can I walk back here too? Yeah, whoa, not easily. So hopefully that will make them fall down. We'll see. We'll play that by ear. Now I need to go ahead and put a couple turrets up here. Missing something for work. Let's try that again. Go. Now I need to power these up. And I will do a better mesh network. Be at some um, point. If the turret shoots at us? At what? I will keep silence, but remember, it's an anxious kind of silence. Okay. Oh, the smell. <sighs> True. Something really, really bad is going on here. I can see that. The monsters are coming out of this nest. It's not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place. We have to destroy the oh, oh, take him down, take him down. <laughs> This guy over here. Now he's down, okay. He's down, okay. We need to go close this off here. Can't have him coming back here. And the clown council wants to send settlers here. I'm a bit worried as well. But oh, who are we to criticize the verdict of the noble council? <laughs> you know Get some more rock. Here. These lands could be home to our clan folk. We'll get rich upon one beast. 
Not if we clear the island of those abominations. Come on, we have a job to do. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta clean Dark them out. The concentration of dark magic. Maybe it would be better not to leave it here. You're right. I think. So we gotta do some repairs here. So far, it looks like it did pretty good. Can't go that way. So we'll go in there. That should auto close down behind us. Yep, there it is. That looks good too. So I need to go ahead and create my passage over here and protect this side. And I am going to do this a little bit differently because I don't think they jumped down the cliffs. Matter of fact, they never did. So, I'm thinking... There we go, got a light. I'm thinking if I just put a... fence right through here, I don't have to do anywhere else. I do need to go down and talk to this, or do this. That way I have a place to return back to. I think I just need to put a gate here. Nothing I've ever spawns over there. They all spawn on the hill from here on out, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try it at least. And yes, I will be working on the mesh system a little bit better. Okay, now... Like so. There. Now we'll see, they might be able to come through this way. Right here. So let me uh, do one other thing here. Just to make it harder for them. I don't know if that'll work or not, but we're going to try. Okay, we need to power this up. more wood so let's uh, put down some more wood okay we should have enough to get us going there we go now we got a decent defensive it is a little nighttime here, so we'll, we'll kind of wait a little bit for morning. Okay, sunlight is starting to come back. It's still a little dark, but not bad. I went ahead and repaired the mech while we were waiting, but let's go ahead and build the houses we need. We need four of them. So I'm going to build them right here. Move this one up here. go while we're waiting for uh, more stone to build we'll knock down some more trees okay go ahead and take down this rock too just to give us some more And 
one more. I should have enough rock for the next one. Okay, let's build one more house here. Oh, nope, I need more rock. Okay. I'll go over here and grab some rock. And one more set of rocks. That's what I'm missing. There used to be a berry bush back here. I haven't seen that berry bush. Oh, interesting. Okay, now let's uh, power these up. I hope they'll have better lives here. No hunger, no deadly frost, no. Do you know how many have said this before? Generation after generation. It's good to finally understand them. Let's go. Now the well. There we go. We're getting a little bit better. I've got to close this door. We gotta go out it anyway. We gotta go up there and examine that tower. Close that gate. Lots of rock. We'll get that later. There's the tower. I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient escoing ports. These half buildings, half machines, guided airships, and served as harbor. Doesn't look too damaged by the Great Rapture. I think I can get it running. We can use this port to guide our people. Your people. Look, this Fenin is acting strange. Hmm. The discolorations on the phone. Maybe it caused something from her. But maybe we should have some time to see what is going on in these eyes. Please, let's take a closer look. I'll we'll go up to this one first, because I think this one will tell us how to fix the one down there. I get out as a dwarf and do it. I think Set this one has eaten some berries. Hmm, maybe it was hungry. Or well, maybe the berries can serve as medicine. Against what, I wonder? Yeah, I've got to pet the poor little puppy. Okay, we're going to enter the mech. We're going to grab some more berries. Something is not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. Well, the gearing looks good, but we need a navigational stone for the port to function correctly. Navigation stone? I read about it. Right, let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is still there. It is. It's among the rubble. But if we want to find a wheel, we have to dwarfs use such stones in their airships, haven't they? Yes. Oh, that's why we are going to the crash site. <laughs> The spores from the fur have disappeared. The berries are working. They protect from the taint. We have to try and heal the other animals. We don't have to. There's lots of other things we should do. The sick animals hey. and the monsters. They are symptoms of the same illness. If we don't fight it, it could get us too. We're going to have to fight more of those, but we there is one more tree over here we have to watch out for. Crash trail ends here. I don't see navigation stone anywhere. Aye, it must have fallen off somewhere else. We must find it. I have an idea where it might be. Okay, yeah, that's where that's going to go, but before I go up there... Yeah, we'll, we'll go up there, okay. I want to be cautious and watch out for things. Um, I'm tap tempted to go ahead and build something here because if not we're going to uh, 
get overran. This is not a hard spot to build from, so let's let's try this. And we want to do defenses, and we want to do fence. Again, go. Right now, I'm not worried about powering it up, putting a door in it. I just want some something to block them until I get over here. I'll delete it and put a door in later once I get more mana. I don't want to use all my mana yet. Okay, let's do this. Let's go out as the dragon. I'll go up here. Now, of course, we learned how the bubbles work. Breathtaking. This view has no comparison to the closed spaces of the Great Dwarven Library. So we're going to grab these bubbles as we go up this one. There's two of them. And now we get this third one. And now we can go down here. We'll get that item there in a second. And we'll open this up. This is good. See, there's a thread. But we're going to need it. But now we, can, we should be able to find a lot more of those threads. Before we go back, we got a little time, so I want to make sure there's nothing else here. Looks like everything on this island. What else is there? Something else over here. Let's grab it. Oh, the blue crystal. Duh. Got it. Now back to the grumpy dwarf. I've lost the mana connection. Now there is no convenient way to quickly get back to True. I need to use my good old wings. Or oh, get closer to True or the mech. There we go. Still looks good over there, so we're going to go back up this way. And we're going to set this navigation stone in. Do a little running up here. Oh, what do we got over here? I didn't even do this. More technology, we're going to need that. Still got things to look at, but we need to get research. We need to get the better hammer, armor, and all that stuff, so. Let me get the navigational stuff. <laughs> it fits. Did it do anything? <sighs> Nothing. Just as I expected. Wait a minute. The Escoim also used mana. Let's connect the pipe and see what happens. There we go. Oh, I didn't get it quite connected. With the mana floor. There we go. There's light. What do you know? It's what? Before we do that, we're going to. Okay, 
Okay, then we'll connect. We'll put a tower in. Okay, one there. Can I put any more in? I don't think so. I think it's pretty tight here, but that'll at least protect it a little bit. Get the uh, mana into it. There we go. And this hopefully will just give me a little bit of time for that one. So, before we go off to the ravens and get the dwarves here, I think that's all for this episode. I think we'll bring the dwarves in on the next episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this uh, stream. If you uh, like this game, go ahead and throw me a like in the uh, video with that thumbs up. And leave me a comment what you think about the game. And we will see you on the next one.